Hello everyone, I am excited to discuss our first and simplest machine learning algorithm that is univariate linear regression. Although practical as application of linear regression is very very limited but it's worth studying since it lays the foundation to study deep learning. Now let's study linear regression. So why regression word is used? Regression means any real value. So the value of the label is any real number. That's why it's regression, not classification, because in classification we have the label as uh, class A or class B or class C something. So why it is linear? It is linear because uh, this is a linear function of the input variable x. So this is w x plus b. This is the linear function, right? That's why. And this is basically this is a straight line. That's why it's linear. And why univariate? Because we have a single feature of x, single variable of x. Uni means single, variate stands for variable. So let's consider here x and y, x as the input variable and y as our label. So we have different data points like x1, y1, corresponding value y1. This is our first training example or the first data point. Why training example? Because we will use these data points for our training purposes. So x1, y1, second data point, we have x2 and the corresponding value y2 all the way up to xm and ym. So these data points are there and these data points uh, might stand for uh, the house price prediction in which x stands for the house size and Y stands for the price of the house or stock price prediction case in which X stands for the date of the given stock and Y stands for the price of the stock. So this is how we can formulate our problem. So given these data points, now we want to have a linear function through which we can predict the predict the value of x for any x so this is our label already given one right so maybe we have this g and then we want to predict for any given x what is the predicted value of z we'll see it first of all let's see how we are going to represent this data the data are represented by matrix in this case since it is a single variable function so we can say that uh, x is represented by a row vector x vector is equal to x1 x2 all the way up to xm this is a row vector of dimension 1 times m and by the way uh, it is a uh, vector is represented by a lower case and also I'm putting arrow to indicate that this is a vector and similarly y vector is represented by y1 y2 all these corresponding values y1 y2 all the way up to ym and its dimension is also 1 times m so this is how we represent data and all through the machine learning problems we will have same convention same convention means like uh, uh, columns are represented uh, by the number of training samples only so this is how we represent right now if we plot x and y here using the input axis x and the output axis y in this case different data points are there like we have this different data points like likewise so this stands for the first data point coordinate of this first data point this is x1 x1 y1 and similarly x2 y2 so on so forth up to x m y m and x1 is this x coordinate and y1 is this one y coordinate first second up to mth training example so these data points are here now what we want our objective is to find a straight line that best fits the data 
that best fits the data in this case so basically we want a straight line here for which these data points are close to the straight line so basically this straight line is variable one and the data points are fixed and given so why it is variable look here z z is a equal to w x plus b and we know this is a slope intercept form here w and b are unknown parameters also the learnable or trainable parameters in machine learning because this w and b has to be learned for the straight line to be fixed because this w and b will decide the straight line w we know the w is slope and uh, slope is nothing but we know this is theta then uh, slope is tan theta and b is this z intercept this is b in this case b means when x is equal to 0 then z is equal to b here so this is how we represent and in machine learning we say that this w is weight and b is bias and the name is also very clear because when x is equal to 0 g is biased towards b x is 0 this term is 0 z is equal to b so that's why it's bias and why it's weight because we are putting some weight to the coefficient of x here more the weight more will be the coefficient of x that's why it's weight fine so here w and b has to be learned has to be trained using any optimization method such as gradient descent so this straight line will be best fit for a given w star and b star which will be trained using gradient descent okay so next question is how we are gonna define the objective function here objective function will include certain parameters such certain parameters such that all those data points should be very close to the straight line so what exactly is the parameter let's see if we consider this vertical distance this vertical distance all those vertical distances so if all those vertical distances are minimized then we say that these data points are lying very close to the straight line so here the parameter is nothing but these vertical distances so basically our objective function should include these vertical distances z so what we can say about these vertical distances let's say for this uh, point data point 2 we have this thing this vertical distance is nothing but y2 and this vertical distance is z2 so the difference between z2 and y2 is this one and this is also known as error so our error will be equal to z minus y for i training example it is z i minus y i this is our error and it may be positive or negative depending on whether data point is lying above or below the straight line okay and basically we are not interested in uh, the sign of this error right it may the positive or negative part of the error that's why we are squaring them up and this becomes the squared error so squared error for any training example is square of the difference between these vertical heights this is squared error and if we consider the mean of this squared error that is known as mse so mse is defined as sum of all these squared errors for across all the training examples divided by number of training examples so it will be summation i is equal to 1 to m z i minus y i whole square over m 
this is MSE. And by the way, we know the value of Zi is Wxi plus B minus, this is the value of G, minus Yi whole square summation i is equal to 1 to m and this over m this is mean squared error so we can see that mean squared error includes all those vertical distances with only the positive part since square we are squaring to. and also msc is a function of w and b only since xi and yi are known quantities right so our objective function should include msc so our objective function denoted by j and this is also known as cross function machine learning j is nothing but half of the msc this is how we define the objective function why half of msc why half factor is there why not simple msc because uh, we know we need to find the gradient del j over del w and del j over del b in order to update parameters w and b so when we find derivative del j over del w for this quadratic function then we will have something twice of some quantity twice of something and twice times half will get cancelled right to half into two will get cancelled that's why we are saying half of msc and just for the mathematical simplicity and no other reason that's it so when we have this half of MSE, we can say that our cost function becomes 1 by 2m. In this case, if we have this value 2m summation i is equal to 1 to m zi minus yi whole square. Or we can also write it as 1 over 2m and uh, in this fashion, when we plug the value of zi, we have summation i is equal to 1 to m w x i plus b minus y i whole square and that's it that's how we define our cost function this way or this way this is our cost function j okay and we can also see that j is a function of w and b so basically we need to find the gradient del j over del w and del j over del b in order to update w and b weighted by us using gradient descent so in the next video we will see how to write equation for the gradient in order to update w and b using gradient descent hope you understand it thank you very much